Hey, what's up, y'all? We're back with another one. Let's check this clip out. Black culture, black entertainment, of black excellence. And when you do something like this, you got folks outside the community. See that? See that? TMZ talking about it. NBC talking about it. CNBC talking about it. CBS talking about it. USA Today talking about it. PBS. Everybody but PBS. When that kind of stuff happens, how do you think that benefits us? And that's a story that we don't get into nearly as much as we should. Did it ever, did it ever occur to anybody? To remind yourself of the responsibility we have. I'm not blaming any of the folks there in the audience. They didn't know. And even though PET is owned by Paramount, it's still BT. Black folks everywhere. All up in there. And that's what we celebrate. We as a community are going to be held accountable for that. Subliminally, subconsciously, people going to look at us with raised eyebrows and think as a community, oh, you down with that. You cool with that. That's what you celebrate. The collective whole is what matters. Not one individual, not one individual. God rest his soul. God will deal with him because God knows what he did. Face of love had a wild response to this. And when I say wild, I mean wild. This Stephen A. Smith, man, I don't know. Where, where do you come from? Do they groom you? Where the f you come from? You mad because BT is celebrating OJ? Who else gonna celebrate him? Are you stupid? He was found innocent, man. In the court of law, the white law. But your dick nose is gonna go on talking about how, are you crazy? You would have did this, you would have did that. Where the f do you come from? Where the f do you come from? I've never seen some lazy house ain't even a house and house n who the f you n that's what Kendrick's talking about they are not like us they are not like you you don't talk about OJ are you crazy hey what's up y'all I want to thank y'all so much for Tapping in with me, and there's a beef brewing between Face of Love and Stephen A. Smith. And here's what happened. BET Awards decided to praise O.G. Simpson, who passed away a couple of months ago. Two months ago, he passed away. And BET Awards decided to praise O.G. Simpson and said that we want to praise O.G. Simpson for what he did off the field. And also on the field, because he was a good athlete. And when Stephen A. Smith, when he saw this ceremony, he was heated, he decided to do his show, and he called out BT Awards, and he also called out black people, which I think was weird. And he said that we are better than this, and he said that basically, O.J. Simpson is guilty of doing what he did to Nicole. And Face of Love, when he saw this, he in return decided to jump in front of his phone and record a video that he later decided to upload to the internet, and he called out Stephen Smith and he was heated as you saw the clip I do show y'all and he called out Stephen Smith and he called him a lot of words and I'm not sure if Face Love actually feels this way or if he's just looking for a clout but the damage is already done and actually I never thought that I would say this but I actually gotta say that I agree with Face Love because you gotta realize OJ Simpson he was found not guilty and if the judges, if they did a investigation and if he was in the courtroom, which he was, they did a full investigation and also they made an assessment and they came to the conclusion that O.J. Simpson was not guilty. If that was the verdict, then you have to respect that because that's what they said. But for some strange reason, anytime a black man is found not guilty, he's still guilty according to the public. And this is something that O.J. Simpson had to endure 
The public said that he did what he did towards Nicole, even though he was found not guilty. He had to go through this for decades of decades, and they used to ridicule O.J. Simpson. And the only thing that he actually was sent to prison for was for he stole his memorabilia, and he decided to get it back. And when he decided to get it back, he was arrested and sent to jail for a lot of years. And I think that they actually, I think that they wanted to punish O.J. Simpson for the Nicole Simpson case, and that is the reason why he got so many years in the prison when he decided to get back his own stuff that he actually owned that his manager were trying to sell. So, I actually want to know what y'all think about this, so make sure to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.